Hey guys, I know it's been a long time since you've seen me on the camera or doing a new video. I have a lot of old videos that I am playing catch up on, so just vlogs and things like that. But I wanted to come on here really quickly to do a more Korea related video. I'm sure a lot of my new subscribers are subscribed to my channel to see more things about Korea. So here is another video about Korea for you, all right? So in this video, I am going to mention a few things that I think you should be prepared for before coming to Korea just because when I moved here at least there were things where I was a little bit like they're not that bad so it's more so just kind of like a, a side eye thing like you just kind of give it a side eye like did she just do that? Now none of the things that I'm going to mention are things that bother me today because as most of you know I'm going on my sixth <laughs> sixth year living in Korea so that is a long time and definitely a long time to adjust to all of these things I'm about to mention okay so the first thing I'm going to mention might be something that you already know about Korea if you are into Korean culture at all but that is just their rush rush mentality so Koreans they be in a hurry all the time for no reason sometimes okay <laughs> like the bus or the train or whatever could be like 10 minutes away and they're only two minutes from the station and they'll be running <laughs> and whatever they're running i'm like should i be running too yeah koreans are very kind of just like no wait let's not waste no time type of mentality and that is something that i have grown to really appreciate and that is something that when i go back to america i'm a little bit like can can you hurry up Real quick, let me just clarify something. When I say America, I am talking about the US of A. I know that most of you darlings understand that, but I did get a comment where they were like, America, North America or South America? You need to be more specific. I'm going to say America for the US of A. So back to what I was saying. Yes, people are typically kind of like in a more hurry hurry type of mentality. For example, at the grocery store, this will happen to you probably every single time you're at the grocery store and there's someone behind you. So after the cashier scans all your items, they'll just kind of put them over to the side. You gotta bag your own things, okay? So be prepared for that too. You need to bag your own stuff. So you finish paying and everything, but you're still trying to gather all your things, trying to finish bagging them. They will now wait for you to finish bagging before they start scanning the next person, okay? So if that bothers you, you need to bag your things really quickly or just try to keep your stuff separate from the person that's behind you, okay? So this is something that when I first moved to Korea, I, I would feel a little flustered when I was at the grocery store because I felt like, oh my God, they're waiting for me. I need to hurry up and move. I hate being rushed and I feel like uncomfortable when I am rushed. They're not rushing you though. This is just what they do, okay? So just get your stuff and move on about your way, okay? Another example of kind of Korea's rush rush mentality is that cars are usually first unless you are going on a crosswalk that has like a uh, a signal, a, cr a crosswalk signal thing. If you're not at a crosswalk with the little signal thing, even if you're walking on an actual crosswalk, if there is, are no traffic lights and there's a car coming, just wait for the car to pass, okay? Because if not, you might get hit. I've had several occasions where like, I'll be walking across the street and I'll see a car coming. I'm like, are you gonna, are you gonna stop? Are you gonna, are you gonna stop? That's happened on several occasions. Now, this is kind of my theory on this. I feel like that Koreans are kind of like, I can drive by you faster than you can walk across the street. So just let me drive by first and then you walk across. Like that's kind of like the mentality I'm getting from this whole cars are first thing. So in my five years of living here going on six, I have just decided to let cars go first and then I'll walk across the street. Now on the very, very, very rare occasion, a car will actually stop for me and when they do, I hesitate, I'm not gonna lie. I I could probably count on one hand how many times that's happened in my almost six years of living here. So for your own safety, just let the car go first, okay? And if you think about it the way that I think about it, it is kind of like just faster for the both of you, unless you're about to run across the street. I don't be running across no streets. <laughs> okay, so that's all I'm gonna say about, you know, Koreans doing things really quickly in a timely manner. Um, let's go ahead and move on to, I have a list here, y'all. I just wanted to write everything down so I can keep everything in order. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the uh, no personal space situation. 
you just don't have a personal space anymore okay so like in america we have a bubble and most people respect that bubble not always but usually right in korea you don't really have a bubble so <laughs> if you are waiting for the subway this has happened to me before you guys when i first moved here i was waiting for the subway and you know how you can feel somebody when they're just a little bit close to you you can just feel them i kind of just felt somebody's presence next to me and so i looked thinking that they were like going to try to talk to me i don't know like maybe they i don't know when I, I feel like when you come that close to me you want something from me right like usually so i look over with a smile like yes can i help you <laughs> They didn't want nothing from me. They were just waiting for the subway, just like I was waiting for the subway. Even though they had all this room, all this space over there and over here, they decided they wanted to stand right here. It happens, y'all, it happens. And I have now built an understanding of it. So when it happens, I just sometimes step over just a, just a little bit. Like I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna be rude or make them think I'm trying to run from them or nothing. I'm just, just, you know, just a, a little bit it's a little bit of a breathing space just a little bit okay so the next thing i'm going to talk about happens more most frequently in a like a kind of small supermarket or mart or even like olive young which is a makeup shop i've seen a lot in olive young but maybe that's just because i'm always there i don't know people don't typically say excuse me here in korea so if i'm in the aisle and sometimes the aisles are like really small so like if someone needs to walk by you literally have to like move up so that they can walk by they will not make it known that they're trying to grab something in front of you or that they're trying to walk by. They will do one of two things, okay? The first one is, this usually happens if they're an older person. Typically, is when they're an older person, they will just kind of nudge you or just give you a little shove, okay? So that you know that they're there and you know that they're trying to walk by, you know that they're trying to grab something, whatever. So then when that happens, I just kind of like step up, let them by and then go back to what I was doing. But when I first moved here, I was like, you couldn't say excuse me? Like, can you just say excuse me? Over time, I learned they just don't say excuse me sometimes. So now when I feel someone's gentle push, I know that means I need to move out their way, okay? So that is one possibility that might happen to you. Another thing that they might do is just stand there and hope that you notice that they are there. And there have been times where I would be looking for something, looking, 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 right? And then I would just feel like someone's staring at me. And I'm like, oh, did you need to, you need to get by? Oh, I'm sorry. I think saying excuse me is like pretty simple. <laughs> like I don't think it's rude or anything disrespectful but maybe that's a Korean culture thing that I don't really know about that it's just rude. It's better to just kind of wait patiently type of thing. I've become more conscious of people that are waiting for me to like move out their way if I'm blocking the aisle or if I'm looking in an area that they need to grab something off. I just kind of notice it more often now so then when I notice it I just like move out the way or I smile at them like oh go ahead or oh do you need something you go first you know just stuff like that so when you come here this is just something that you should be aware of and just yeah when someone pushes you or nudges you a little bit just know that they're just trying to get by all right so the last thing i'm gonna mention is so this is something that i feel like a lot of americans usa people <laughs> had to adjust to as well and this is just like saying hi or smiling to strangers. This is something that I've heard that Koreans think is very odd that us Americans do back home. Is like if you're walking through the doors of Target and it's just you going in and one person coming out, you might smile or say hey or how are you or excuse me or I don't know. You might say something to this complete stranger, right? In Korea, they think that is so weird. And I have a lot of Korean friends that have visited America and they think that is just the weirdest thing ever is that we would just walk by a stranger and like nod or smile or, or you know, something very subtle. And it happens kind of naturally, right? Like, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know that I used to do it when I lived in America. But in Korea, they don't do that. So if you if it's just you and one lonely Korean person walking down the street, y'all happen to walk past each other, 
You don't, you don't gotta say nothing to each other, okay? Just keep walking. <laughs> you don't need to look at them. You don't need to smile. You don't need to nod, nothing. You just go about your business. If you do look at them and smile or nod, they might just think you a little crazy. Like, they just might. All right, so that is all I have to say for this video. I really do hope this video helps some of you who might be planning to move here long term or even just coming to visit. Um, nine times out of ten, one of these situations that I mentioned will happen to you. And uh, even though I don't know y'all that much, I really do hope that most of y'all won't get offended if something like this happened to you. And I hope that you guys are just a little bit more prepared for these situations to happen to you just from watching this video. For anyone who has lived in Korea before, please feel free to comment below anything else you want to add to this list i'm sure it'll be very helpful for those people who are planning to come here soon or one day for those of you who are watching my video for the first time don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button okay all right you guys as always thank you so much for watching my videos you guys take care and i will see you in my next video bye